Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So I'm drinking a chai tea right now because like I told you guys before in a past video, I'm trying not to drink any more coffee at night. So let me show you. This is my favorite chai tea right now i mean it's just chai tea but this tastes exactly like the starbucks chai tea lattes and so that's why i love it get below this video i've not filmed in like a week and i really needed a incy tiny break because i was getting overwhelmed a little bit with a lot of things to do so i needed just to take a little breather and get some orders finished for your flower boxes. Oh my gosh, speaking of that, I started making these adorable flower boxes and they look like this. I'll insert a picture because I don't have one to show you because I've literally been selling out like crazy to the point where I'm left with like no supplies, like zero. I have to continue to order and order supplies. So I just want to say thank you guys for your orders. I know the price point of my boxes are not cheap okay so i just want to first of all put that out bluntly but i want you guys to know that these are handcrafted i do make these from scratch obviously you know besides the supplies i don't make the supplies from scratch you guys know what i mean i just feel like i have to be so like detailed with everything i say because people really misconstrue things on youtube a lot of time effort i mean before you judge a price on a small business please consider the fact that they are not a large corporation manufacturing these things obviously obviously if you wanted to just diy your own not stopping you there sis i started making these because ever since i did a diy video on one of them a lot of people asked me to just sell them and in order for me to pay for all the supplies all of the services that i have to use in order to sell them i don't know if you guys know this but it doesn't matter what you sell on whether it's etsy ebay it doesn't matter what they have fees and then to process through paypal is more fees or through square app or venmo or whatever it is there's fees for literally everything and then on top of it there are packaging supplies supplies to tape up your boxes um, the supplies to wrap up your packages and mail them to you safely. The shipping is free on the boxes. It's included in the price. So keep in mind that shipping, depending where in the U.S., is $10 to $15. Anywhere international is $25 and up. So just please, please keep these things in mind before you are judgmental. If you want to go ahead and make your boxes, that is okay. There are supplies on Amazon for you to do that. I'm not trying to force anybody to buy them, but I did want to just put them right here in case you guys are interested, especially for those of you that asked in that one video. People tend to just be very, very judgmental and they don't take into consideration that I spend hours of my time making these. I also have um, hired my mom since she lost her employment. I hired my mom to um, help me run that. So she's also on my payroll. So she also has to get paid out of that profit. So I hope you guys understand. I'm just trying to be genuine and keep it real. So please, I hope you guys understand. But anyway, continuing on, this video is going to be a collective Ulta haul. I know in the last Ulta haul, I said I wasn't going to shop at Ulta anymore because they actually closed all the Ultas. However, they did end up doing their 21 Days of Beauty online. I was so ready to shop for that whenever they closed all the stores. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get my hands on anything. But they actually ended up doing it online. And the processing did take a little bit longer than usual. But I ended up finding and purchasing some things. And of course, it's been such a long time since 21 Days of Beauty. And that's because these things literally took so long to get here. So now I'm finally filming this as everything has came in. I also was waiting for a few things to come back in stock that were not from the 21 Days of Beauty sale, but was a limited edition collection, which is the Barbie collection that I'm going to show you guys. So I was waiting on some things to restock so I can purchase the whole collection and show you guys. Of course, so I can try it out and also give you a mini review because I have been using these things. But um, let's go ahead and get started with what I got first of all i'm just going to pull up my ulta app and go to my order so i can give you guys the prices that i got all this stuff on and of course a lot of you guys know that i'm a makeup artist as well 
So I did get stuff like for my clients and stuff like that. That's why I got so much stuff. Showed you guys this in the other Ulta haul because I think I had already gotten this in. But I did get this from the 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I use have been using this every single day since I got it. And I really do highly recommend this powder. It just is such a nice little finish for um, your makeup. If you get a deeper shade because you tan in the summer, it's just such a nice way to match your foundation like if you use liquid you just dust a little bit of this over and it'll darken your foundation a little bit if you need to you can even use it as bronzer it's just a traversal and great product so i really do highly recommend this i do really like mac cosmetics because they tend to just be very good quality literally purchased so much lip liner so much lip liner because i go through lip liner like crazy on myself on my clients and they had these on so I believe they were half off. I'm about to check. Powder was on sale for $18 from $36. Liners were on sale for $9 instead of $18. So I snatched every color that I could get or that I would see myself wearing. And also a few colors for my client makeup kit. So I'm trying to turn them over to all of them for you guys in this video so that you're not just left wondering how they look so i'm trying to hold them there's just too many to hold in one hand so here's all the colors that i got right here i got and with this order i did get some free goodies that i'll show you guys after i swatch these and the total came out to 108 dollars so let's begin so i have always wanted to buy some of these but i'm going to start with my favorite matte lip liner I need to turn off my phone. Hold on. I did get a backup of this. I do have another backup already. So this is like a second backup. Because I use this so much. This is MAC Cork. And this is what I... I will wear this underneath any nude or pink. Because it allows for my lip liner to like not look so pale. Or make me look washed out. It is a pretty dark brown color I will say. So you do have to blend it into your lip color. Here's what it looks like. But it is just the perfect brown. So I feel like it just looks good with any nude. Next one that I've been wanting and just have never gotten is Spice. And Spice is just another brown color. So I think that's why I have never gotten it because I always just got cork. So let's see the difference okay that is really different i have never actually swatched spice in stores spice is definitely more of a like your lips but darker kind of a color like it's like a well at least for me it would be like darker than my lip color but it has that like fleshy tone to it I feel like this will be a beautiful everyday lip liner, so I'm really excited for that. Next one that I got is Chestnut, and I mainly got this one for fall time because this is just a really deep color, and I think this will be so perfect underneath like fall colors, like mauves and like burgundies and stuff like that. So it is the, it is the third one down, the darkest one so excited to have this is called strip down and i feel like every makeup artist every person and their mother has this this is probably the most popular mac lip liner i'm excited because i don't own too many lighter nude lip colors but i want to start wearing them because i did in another video and you guys really complimented my lip combo and i realized that i just really liked how it looked so it is this right here I'm just gonna get closer so that's stripped down i can see why so many people like it because it's it literally looks like a little bit deeper than kylie's exposed and kylie's exposed is such a stunning lip color so stunning kylie exposed and kylie coco k are my two favorite lipsticks or matte liquid lipsticks of all time to find anything that i like more i've actually have been on the hunt for like a luxury alternative to kylie cosmetics like a luxury matte liquid lipstick i want to see if it will be better or more comfortable on the lips or i just i just want to experiment so if you guys have any recommendations let your girl know so i have dervish and again i just literally grabbed every nude ish neutral ish pink ish 
the planer that they had. So let's watch that one. Ooh. I haven't worn a color like this in a minute, but it's really pretty. I need to. So it's this right here. I feel like this will look beautiful with um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. If you guys don't own that, oh my gosh. Most beautiful, beautiful high-end lipstick that I own. My eyes are getting covered, so let me just like lift it a little bit. There, there we go. Now you can see my face. I'm not like one of those like shaggy dogs with like the hair in front of their face. You know what I'm talking about. Which, I mean, it's a hat, not hair, but you know what I mean. Have Boldly Bare. Another nude. For you guys, 21 Days of Beauty is the time to stock up. Mm, so that's like a warmer version of the other one we just watched, which was Dev Devrish or something like that. I'm bad at pronouncing things, so I'm sorry. But this is um, Boldly Bare right here at the bottom. We have your one and only MAC Whirl lip liner. I feel like this is another really popular MAC lip liner that I always hear about. Watch. Oh, ho, ho. wow. I see the hype, guys. Okay. I think this is going to be a favorite for sure because this is just such a stunning mauve lip liner. Wow. I feel like this with Coco K. Oh, that's going to look cute, girl. That's going to look cute. I'm excited. I have Half Red, which is another deep fall color. I just love fall time and fall lip colors and it's barely gonna be summer and i already want it to be fall yeah i think it's because it's also like my birthday around that time oh wow yes this is beautiful so right here is half red i never hear anybody talk about this one and i actually really love it I think this one needs to be more more overrated. It's a little bit too underrated. It's a pretty, pretty color. Another one that is really popular that I've always wanted to try. This one is called Oak. And like I said, I was just so stuck on my MAC cork that I've, been, I've never ventured out, you know? And I'm excited to finally have all of them. This one is a little bit lighter than, my goodness, which one was it? Strip Down. So this one is like a lighter version of Strip Down. So if you're more fair, this would be beautiful for you. I love, 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 love. I still feel like I will most definitely try to wear this and see how I like it. If it's too light, I will probably put it in my client kit. I just prefer a kind of a darker shade than the lipstick I'm gonna wear because I like how it creates like that dimension into the lips so we'll see we'll see how this looks because I think this might look really good with Dose of Color Sand which is one of my favorite nude lipsticks should I do like a favorite nude lipstick combo video because you guys always ask what's on my lips so I think I'm gonna put that on my videos to do list Three more. We have Subculture. I've heard some about this, not too much, but I have heard about this one. What, baby? What? Why are you yelling at mom? What, mama? Dior says hi. Okay, mama. Have to finish this video. Here is Subculture. It's just a very light. It's kind of like a baby, like a warm baby pink, but it's not, it's not so light where you won't see it. Like it's definitely like noticeable, but it's definitely going to look light on the lips because of the color that it is. I feel like this is maybe like the tone of my natural lips. I'm kind of hungry, so. <coughs> Hot Cheeto break. We have another really popular lip liner. This one is called Soar. I believe this is one of the ones Kylie made really popular back when she started the whole lip trend thing. So, ooh, okay. This is definitely a rosy, rosy color. So I feel like I'm gonna have to 
show you this angle so here it is here's what all of them look like together so far there's one more so okay so the very very last one is of course a light another light pink because i wear so many pinks and nudes and then sometimes like deep fall colors so we have edge to edge is the name of this one. Oh, okay so this is a lot like brighter <laughs> it's a lot brighter and pinker than i thought it was going to be it looked more light pink like on the website like look how light pink it looks here it almost looks mauve and then this is how it looks on here it's almost like a medium ish pink i think this will be so perfect with the mac barbie lipstick like the barbie collection lipstick this is the mac barbie lipstick i'll try to link it if i can find it i'm pretty sure it might be sold out but i feel like that this lip liner is going to be perfect underneath this barbie lipstick i was putting cork underneath this mac lipstick and i just don't think that it looked as good as maybe having something like this would so i'm happy to have this one because i do really like that barbie lipstick hey that was all of the mac lipsticks now i'm full of swatches i'm going to try not to touch my dress we'll see how that goes I did have to place separate orders for all of this because literally every single day is different deals so it's not like you can place it all together you have to place each day of whatever deal it is or else it'll sell, sell out or you won't you know it won't be on sale anymore and i was literally on my phone at midnight like every night like waiting for the like daily things to like show up you know what i mean for the 21 days of beauty so i did get this palette for free with my purchase this is the mac classic cutie palette and is this not just so adorable i don't recall ever seeing this palette but it's really cute it does have like lavender colors in it and i'm excited to see what i can do with this palette i don't wear too many purples but um these are lavender so i think i can for sure create some looks with this on myself with that purchase i also got a free makeup bag this i haven't even opened it it looks like this it's just like a shiny red and I will probably give this to my mama because she would probably like this. I don't really keep a lot of makeup bags because I have the ones I already like. The day before the MAC lip liners were on sale, they did have Lorac palettes and Too Faced bronzers. So I picked up some stuff from that day. Of course, they had a bunch of other stuff, but that's just what I was interested in. I mainly wanted to grab the luminous new this is like new from Too Faced I don't know how new or recent it is but it's new to me I've never seen that this is a uh, chocolate gold soleil bronzer so it's not matte it does have shimmer and I thought this would be so beautiful to give like a sun-kissed look during the summertime and it definitely has a sheen to it although it looks a lot more metallic like um, on the website but it does have a beautiful sheen to it. I'm pretty sure if it was any more metallic, I might not wear it anyway. So I think that it's just like the perfect amount of um, luminosity. It's almost like what you would call a glowy bronzer because it has like that highlighter like consistency or like look to it, except it's like a bronzer. I hope that's making sense, but yes, I was dying to get my hands on this. I saw that it kept selling out and selling out and selling out. I saw that they had a sale on the bronzers and noticed it was in stock and on sale on top of being in stock. I was just like, yes, we're getting that. And of course, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I haven't bought a Too Faced bronzer in a hot minute. I don't really use Too Faced bronzer because I've just been using other things, but I do love their chocolate soleil. I used to use it daily back in 2015 and 16. Back in the day, I bought their vault and it came with all of them. And this is like the vintage old, old packaging. So I have both Chocolate Soleil and Dark Chocolate Soleil here. And you'll see just how much I used it. Except I decided to stop reaching for it because I stopped for a while. The Dark Chocolate Soleil is actually like almost new, but... Um, for a while, I stopped using it and I didn't want to go back to it because I thought it might be expired and I don't want my face to like break out. I don't know because it does have like a 
12 month shelf life so I just didn't want to risk it so I did end up getting just the regular chocolate sleigh and this one has matte packaging I don't know if you guys saw the other one but see the the golden one is like this glossy packaging and then the matte chocolate sleigh is matte so I thought that was pretty neat and it looks like this and if you guys don't know, this is made with actual cocoa powder, so it smells like chocolate. Um, have I tasted it before? Maybe. It tasted sweet. It did. So I just really had to. I had to. When when I heard when I found out that it was made with real chocolate or cocoa powder, I had to just taste it. I didn't die, so. That's a good thing. I also got the dark chocolate soleil for when I'm tan. So as you can see, the packaging, the the regular one is lighter than the dark chocolate soleil. And here is what the dark chocolate soleil looks like. I feel like it just has more of a reddish tone to it. Like if you see them in the packaging, this is the regular chocolate soleil and this is the dark chocolate soleil and you can see it just has a bit more like of a reddish tone um and sometimes i like that when i'm tan so and it's also actually let me swatch it hold on oh it's actually not reddish it's actually really warm once on my per my skin i'll just show you it's like warm let me swatch the regular chocolate soleil you guys can see the difference Like, see, this is the regular chocolate soleil up here. This is the dark chocolate soleil right here. So, the regular... I feel like this is more of, like, a matte contouring shade. And this is more of a matte bronzing shade. Because it's not really that much darker. So, really excited to finally have these. I'm going to put them in my drawer. Same, same day, they did have Lorac... Um, palettes on sale and I had not bought a Lorac palette in a while but I got these mainly to put in my client kit because these are such good shadows I remember how much I used to love love these um, Lorac unzipped palettes every time that I would go into Ulta and I would always talk myself out of it because I used to own all the Lorac Pro palettes but these are just so beautiful these are perfect summer palettes really create those like warm smoky bronzy eyes for the summer and it has so many beautiful beautiful like golds and rose golds in there to create summer looks and to create just those really sun-kissed kind of makeup looks so this is just the Lorac gold unzipped palette and it does come with a little um, eyeshadow primer that I might not use. Might give it to my mama again. And we have just the normal Lorac unzipped palettes. And I feel like the Lorac Gold, I feel like it had a lot more like rosy. No, this one has more rosy tones and the Lorac Gold has more warm tones. Sorry. But here is the regular Lorac palette. And this one just has more like rose golds. And these are definitely more, you can see they're more pinky. So they're down here. And then these were from the gold palette. I also really like the packaging of them because they're really like just compact. This right here is the gold palette and this right here is the regular unzipped palette. Well, due to all of this, I'm not actually doing any more makeup clients because, well, I can't. But um, we'll see how the summer goes and... We'll see if I end up keeping these for myself or using them in my client kit. I decided to finally get these because I always see them in pictures on Instagram. And I'm not going to lie, the packaging is what sold me. I like a good gloss and I heard good things about these as well. But, I mean, so these are the Kylie glosses. And, I mean, they're just, they're pink, you know. So, I had to have them. <laughs> like, come on, let's be real. And they were half off. They were really, really inexpensive. Like, really inexpensive. <laughs> So we have the one that it says clear high gloss and this one just has like, it's like, it looks pinky almost. I'll swatch them after I show you all the ones I got. Um, Always Shining is like white with glitter. Oh, you fancy. I like that name. Oh, you fancy. This one is like a very beautiful, warm 
like rose gold glittery-ish one. Last one is called Diva, aka me. And this one is like a matte, um, like mauve pink, light pink, mauve light pink. A diva is a female version of a hustler. Version of a hustler. Oh, she cute. She's so pigmented. Look how cute she is. Smell nice. They remind me of... Do you guys remember those lip glosses we would buy as kids? What are they called again? You guys know what I'm talking about though, right? They smell kind of like that, but not as like juvenile, like not as strong. I like it. It's like a subtle, like sweet childhood scent. Packaging on these is R. I don't know why I cannot think. Kylie Cosmetics has been liking all my pictures and DMing me and sis. Maybe someday I'll be on their PR. Seriously guys, I use so much Kylie Cosmetics. Like most of my makeup collection is either luxury brands, Too Faced, or Kylie Cosmetics. So I got these, but I, I'm gonna confess I have been using these. The rest of everything else has been brand new, except for the last stuff I'm gonna show you. But I have been using these. These were the last thing I got from the 21 Days of Beauty sell. These were half off, and these are the Too Faced lip injection extreme and lip injection ultimate plumper I really do feel the plumpness it feels really really tingly um i will say the extreme definitely feels more tingly so if that's something you can't handle or it weirds you out or you think it hurts then definitely just go for the ultimate um because this one is not as like extreme well obviously this says extreme on it but if you want a really good plump, then get the extreme. That's everything for makeup. The last few items that I got are hair products. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should go follow me on Instagram because I'm almost to 50K and it would be so awesome if you guys help me get there. So I'm gonna link my Instagram down below. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen this stuff over and over again because I don't shut up about it. Got the Barbie collection. So I believe these are still available as of right now, as I'm speaking right now. I don't know if you're watching this video days later, it might be sold out and I'm so sorry. But I, okay, let me just tell you the story. So first I saw this, sorry, there's like eyelash glue on there. So first I saw this and this was the straightener and I just didn't think twice. I pretty much impulse purchased it because I've known that I wanted to get a better straightener for my hair because ever since I went blonde, I want to take care of my hair more. So I want a nicer straightener. What the actual straightener looks like right here. It does go up to 450 degrees. It says Barbie cheat inside the plates. I don't know if you guys can like see that or not. And it says um, cheat Barbie on the side right here. And this did cost $99 and it's worth every penny. I've been using Chi since I was in high school. It's always been like my favorite like hair tool brand and I think it's just because I've loved it and it's been reliable for so long in my life. I've never had a strainer that has lasted me as long as the Chi strainer has before and I've had like nanos and like other straighteners and I've had to replace them and I still have a Chi from high school that still turns on. However, it's really, really old and disgusting. And back in the day, um, I didn't know anything about hair. So like I would get product on the ceramic plates and then it would scrape. So obviously that straightener is really old. So I definitely needed a new Chi straightener. Just look at the color, it's perfect. So let me show you guys what it came with. It, this adorable little glittery compact mirror it's like a light pink compact mirror and it has like the zoom inside and then the normal side so this will be so cute to throw in my purse it came with this adorable little barbie drawstring bag you could put your tools in here when you travel or whatever you please you can use it as a gym bag whatever this time i also ordered their hair products because i saw they had chi Barbie hair products and this is just their regular like 44 iron guard 
there's silk infusion and their uh, volume booster so I've been using these products since high school so I know I do like them this is probably the one thing I would say to get with the tools because this will protect your hair from the heat this is their 44 iron guard this stuff works really 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 good and I like how it smells it's also paraben free and I just really love that they made these in pink like I don't know if you guys know but she is normally like red and silver which is like like the products are so good that I'll buy it anyway but the fact that it was pink like I could not say no so I bought these and I also bought backups of them without even thinking because I just have never seen such pretty hair products that I actually love to use and are good quality but then I was thinking after I already placed the order girl you could buy the red packaging and you could just pour it back in these bottles like why didn't I think of that before I spent my money? I don't know, but whatever. I have backups. Um, I have backups. So waited and waited because there was one thing I forgot to get because I didn't see it. And then I saw it afterwards and it is the curling iron. And let me tell you guys, when I went back and I'm telling you this was pro this all probably happened in the span of 10 minutes. I went back. It was gone the entire collection was sold out i'm guessing they saw how much demand there was for it so they stocked a lot this time because this collection has been restocked now for like a few days um but this is what the box looks like for the curling iron this is a one and a fourth titanium barrel it goes up to 410 fahrenheit um it has an illuminated temperature display and it preset temperature hour settings one hour auto shut off and dual voltage also i will mention both of these products automatically shut off if you leave them turned on for over an hour so that's a good way to make sure you're not going to burn your house down it actually surprised me because it actually says barbie all around the barrel and i didn't know that like off the bat from looking at it on the website but it is really really cute um the straightener doesn't so that's why i thought it was going to be like the straightener but it actually just says barbie all around it here it does light up to give you the fahrenheit and all of that and then here are like the on buttons and to higher the temperature it does come with the little thing to not burn your counter and i have been needing a um curling iron that is thicker because i do have a wand but i believe that wand is like less than an inch it's just slightly bigger but still i wanted it to kind of use easier than to have to hold the other one upside down to do my hair so um usually to get curls like this you can either use a straightener or you can use something like this um if you want beach waves then you use like the wand came with the same compact and the backpack so you will get the compact and backpack regardless which one you get hey guys that's everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i mainly wanted to hurry up and film this because of the barbie collection thank you guys for um watching another ulta haul because you guys know i'm just i love ulta because you get points those points turn into money and then that money turns into free makeup so i just i'm always Anytime I, need, anytime I need anything, I buy it at Ulta. And also their shipping is really, really fast when there's not a pandemic. Usually I get stuff like overnight or in two days, so I really like that. But due to the pandemic, everything's delayed. So I, um, I'm pretty sure they have some kind of disclaimer on their website about that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you stayed until the end, leave this emoji. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.